Good evening, sports fans. Welcome to another evening of Hiller Volleyball. So Hopkinton Hillers take on Westford Gray Ghosts in the Central West Division I Finals here at Shrewsbury High School. I'm Steve Sweetapple, along with Tom Dings manning the camera. It's a skeleton crew today as the Hillers try to uh, move on to the state semifinals. The winner of this match will play the winner of the Methuen and Andover match, which is at 6 o'clock tonight. So the Hopkinton Hillers coming off a 3-0 sweep of Concord Carlisle on Thursday night. And Westford coming in with a 3-0 win over Acton Boxborough on Thursday as well. Westward coming in 21 and 3 overall and in league play 14 and or no I'm sorry Westward coming in 17 and 2 overall 13 and 2 in the dual county league they finished in second behind Concord Carlisle Hopkinton coming in at 19 and 2 overall 14 and 1 and Tri Valley League champs So we're going to step away as the girls come on the court. They'll do player introductions. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. Good afternoon and welcome to the Division I Central West Massachusetts Volleyball Sectional Finals. This afternoon match will be between the number three seeded Huffington High School against the number four seeded Westman Academy. <laughs> Participating student athletes, coaches, and contestant officials have worked diligently to prepare for this, today's competition. Please show your appreciations by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behavior reflects the value that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of others around you. If you require assistance, please contact the MIA school or security official. Any verbal or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated. And it could subject the violator to be ejected and may result in penalties being assessed against their team. Our teams, our teams, uh, here are the players for the visiting West Hopkinton team, Westwood team Academy. Number one, senior, Makina Waterhouse. Number five, junior, Megan Gunnerettery. Senior, Eric Waterhouse. Senior, seven, Kalea Semesta. Senior, Marina Octavian. Number nine, Emily Doolin. Number 12, Elizabeth Arnold. Number 13, Caitlin Cullen. Number 14, Elisa Seppi. Number 15, Paige Karachian. Number 17, Olivia Hillman. Number 18, Devin Hooper. Number 19, Caitlin Tennesseeo. And number 20, Fiona Carter. Coaches are head coaches Brandon Ineg, assisted by Alex Bukaris and John Digazotis. Sounds good anyway. Okay, the Hopkinton number one player, senior Amanda Gilbert. Number three, senior Jill Pesacuco. Number four, senior Jessica Mello. Number five, sophomore Morgan Allen. Number six, junior Lydia Rubin. Number seven, sophomore Angela Grandmeyer. Number nine, junior Jenna Wilford. Number 
10, Junior Mia Adamu. Number 11, Senior Ivy Gogan. Number 12, Junior Silly uh, McNamara. McNamara. Number 13, Senior Rachel Zally. Number 14, Senior Allison Marie. Number 15, Junior Isabel Ponce. Number 16, Sophomore Ashley McDermott. Head coach, Monty, Monty Gravmeyer. Assistant coaches, Mary Bramford. Emma Sweet Apple, Tim Pacific, and Mike Miller. Today's officials R1 Glenn Corbin, R2 Mark Burick, Line Judge Rich Vitali, Line Judge Bill Berkowitz, Scorer's Table, The Infamous Alan Sun and Brian, Brian Gooley, Grimley. Our great nation has preserved throughout the leadership and sacrifice of the men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand, please. We thank you for your service to our country. If you would all please stand now for our national anthem. Okay, we're ready to get going. Girls going through the pregame handshake and during player introductions, any trepidation that I had about name pronunciation was just blown out of the water with uh, the announcer there with some of the girls' names. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we have Ivy, Jill, Rachel, Angie, Allison, and Jess and Amanda. Jess will come in for Jill as the libero. Westford will start out serving. There's Jess checking in as her libero. Jess had a great game on Thursday night against Concord Carlisle. Rotations are set. Kaylee Semeter will start off serving for Westford. Central West Division I finals underway. Amanda, Rachel with a back set to Angie. Grabmeyer down the line. Great swing from the sophomore. Side out, Hillers. Jess, Rachel, cross court. Westford goes outside. Amanda gets to that. Angie. Nice save from Westford. Back row hit. Push long. Jess is there. 
Angie in the middle to Ivy. Nice put away from Gogolin. Two nothing, Hopkinton in front. Back set, and that's wide. 3-0, Hopkinton in front here in the opening set. Nice deep serve, there's an ace for Angie. Adding to her season total. Good deep serve from Grabmeyer. Little confusion here. Rachel, Angie gets to it. Ivy pumps it, gets it to the back line. Tipped over Amanda, Angie, back to Amanda. Double hit. Another great serve from Grabmeyer. Can't, Westford can't control it. Six zero, Hopkinton in front. Angie floats that one to the back row. Angie's there to Rachel. Outside to Amanda, just tips it into an open spot. Heads up play from the senior. Another great serve from Grabmeyer. Free ball here. Jess gets to it. Back set to Zale, goes down the line. Good defense from Westford. Allison. Good swing from Amanda, quick pop over. Angie gets to it, Rachel's there. Oh, nice block, but pushed it wide. Ivy was there. Side out to the Grey Ghosts. Seven to one, Hillers in front. Angie gets to that, Rachel. Ivy, nice play from Gogolin. Great save from Zale. Side out, Hopkinton. Amanda back to serve. Good serve from Gilbert. Nine to one, Hillers in front here in the first set. And Coach Ng calls a timeout here. Not surprising. Team down eight points. Hopkinton's put together a great run of serves. Girls have started out with a lot more emotion and uh, a little bit more of an aggressive tenor compared to Thursday night. It seemed like it took them a while to get going on Thursday, but at least right now, coming out of the gate, they're ready to play. So out there on the front line, we have Allison, Rachel and Ivy, Angie, Jess, and Amanda in the back row with Amber serving. Hopkinton in front by eight.
Gilbert goes down the line. And, oh, Jess, I think she wanted to let that go. It was going long. It was just an instinct. Side out, Gray Ghosts. And that's long. Side out, Hopkinson. Jess back to serve. Jill comes in for Ivy. And nice, nice put away. That was number 12, is Elizabeth Arnold, senior. And back to serve is Marina Adovino. Outside set to Lorette, blocked. Nice block. That was Elise Sepp with a block. 10 to four, Hillers in front. Amanda, short set to Sarah Pusco, just tips it over. Jill picking up where she left off on Thursday. Both Ivy and Jill in the middle had dominating performances on Thursday night. Zale back to serve. Got a free ball here. Jess with a bump. Rachel short set to Sarah Pusco, blocked. Nice try. Great block. Westford's got uh, some height at the net. And Mia checks in for Rachel. Eleven to five, Hillers in front. Jess, Mia, outside to Allison. There's a free ball. Good put away from Sarah Pusco. Took advantage of that set that went long. Allison Lorette to serve. Ooh, miss hit from Allison. A little confusion between Amanda and Allison there. Side out, Westford. 12-6, Hillers in front. Emily Doolin to serve. Good job, Emily. Mia. Oh. Jill's timing was completely a miss there. Hillers in front by five. Nice, Emily. Jess, Mia, and Jill makes amends for that. Side out, Hillers. Ivy checking in for Jess. Bella comes in for Jill. And Ansi will go back to serve. See if Bella can continue. She had a strong night of serving on Thursday. Allison, Mia, Bella, and it's that long. Jess comes in for Bella. Side out, Westford. 13 to eight, Hillers in front. Jess gets to that, Allison outside to Jenna. Oh, friendly roll off the top of the net. Side out to the Hillers. Rachel comes in for Mia, Angie for Jenna. Grabmeyer back to serve. 14 to eight, Hillers in front. Nice serve from Grabmeyer. Jess, Angie, back set to Zale, down the line. Nice defense from Westford. Rachel, Grabmeyer, outside to Gilbert. Nice swing from him. Amanda. The block was set up, but the swing was 
just so powerful, it just sheared wide right. Another deep serve from Grabmeyer. Amanda, Angie, back to Amanda, down the line. Clean kill from the senior. Sixteen to eight, Hiller's in front here in the first set. Angie floats that one. Quick set over, Grabmeyer to Zale, outside. Cross court, nice put away from Gilbert. And Coach Ng calling their second time out here just to settle the girls down. Hopkinton in front by nine here in the first set of the Central West Division I Finals. Winner of this advances on to the semifinal of the state tournament against either Methuen or Andover. Hopkinton not taking much time here. Amanda Ivey and Rachel up front. Jess Allison and Angie in the back row with Grabmeyer to continue serving. Westford's used both of their timeouts. They're allotted, allotted two per set. Angie with a deep serve. Girls have another free ball here. Allison, Angie, back set to Zale. Great hustle from both teams. Allison, good bump. Angie goes to Gilbert, and nice swing from Amanda. Good hustle from both teams on that point. Hopkinton in front by 10. Amanda gets it to Angie. Back to Gilbert. Should have another free ball here. Jess. Zale hits it deep. Westford goes outside, tipped. Jess with an arm bar. Jess, yep, net violation on Ivy. Side out, Great Ghosts. Paige Kacharian to serve. Angie receives that well. Rachel, Ivy tips it. Nice block at the net from Westford. It was Caitlin Canusio blocking at the net. 18 to 10, Hillers in front. Jess receives well. Rachel pushes it. Amanda just tips it over. And nice put away at the net from Westford. Canusio again. 18-11. Angie, Rachel, Ivy, another block at the net. Westford does have height and they're making advan taking advantage of it when possible. Nice receive from Jess, outside to Gilbert, cross court, nice put away. Good tight angle from Amanda. Gilbert back to serve. Right back, 19 to 12, Hiller's in front. Oh. Ivy had the tip, but just deflected it. So uh, Angie couldn't get to it. Side out, Westford, 19-13. 
Killers in front. Oh, handcuffed the man on that one. Good serve. And that's long. Side out Hopkinton. Bella comes in for Ivy. Or, yep, and then. Then Jill comes in. Just serving. Amanda, Angie, back row for Amanda. Oh, Jill had the block, just pushed it wide. Twenty fifteen, Hillers in front. Allison. Oh, nice pushover from Angie. Good quick set. Big hole between the front line and the back. Grabmeyer was able to exploit that. Side out Hopkinton. Zale back to serve. Nice deep serve from Rachel. Back row hit. Amanda controls that. Gets it to Rachel. They go outside to Lorette. Nice put away from Lorette. 22-15, Hopkinton in front, late in the first set. Jill, Rachel to Jill, nice put away from Sarah Pusco. 23-15. Hiller's two points away from closing out this first set. Another great serve. And we're one point away from taking this first set here. Strong service game from Rachel. Rachel handcuffs him there. Push over Allison. Outside to Jenna. Good, nice hustle from the girls. Lorette, quick pop over. Westford goes outside, blocked. And that's it. Great block from Sarah Pusco. And that takes the first set, 25-15. Uh, Pillars taking that one. The girls are gonna switch sides. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text, just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. And we're back for set number two as Hopkinton is taking on Westford Academy, the Grey Ghosts, here in the Division I Central West Finals, Shrewsbury High School. Hopkinton took that first set 25 to 15. Girls came out performing uh, at a much faster pace than they did on Thursday, a lot more aggression. Communication was good, and best of all, more importantly, is uh, very few unforced errors. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we've got a front row of Ivy, Amanda, and Rachel, back row of Allison, Jill, and Angie. Jess will check in for Jill. And Angie will start the second set serving.
Grab Meyer with a, another nice deep serve. Great block from Ivy. Jess defensively gets to that. Zale, great swing. Oh, Hiller's blocked it wide. Side out, Westford. Kaylee Semeter to serve for Westford. Jess, Angie, Allison. Angie gets that to Rachel with a quick tip over. Nice smart play from Zale. Senior saw the open spot. She couldn't really do much with this set, but just able to tip it over to the open spot. Side out Hopkinton, tied up at one. Gilbert to serve. Powerful serve from Gilbert, good ace. Two to one, Hiller's in front. Another good serve from Amanda. Ah, great hustle from Westford. Angie, outside to Allison. Nice put away from Lorette. Defensively, the block was there, but Westford couldn't control it. Just gets to that. Angie, back set up. Oh, Zale, smart play. And that's long. Great body control from Rachel. Another powerful serve and good quick tap in from Ivy. Four point lead for the Hillers here early in the second set. Another great serve from Amanda. Gets it over Ivy. Angie outside to Lorette. Great positional hit from Allison. Didn't hit it hard, saw the open spot, went wide with it. Westford couldn't control it. Good heads up play from Allison. Westford calls timeout here. 6 1 lead for the Hillers. Early in the second set, Hopkinton took the first set 25 15. And congratulations to the Hiller football team. They defeated Milton on f last night to move on to the Division IV South Finals. A good turnout here in the Shrewsbury Fieldhouse. Westford and Hopkinton represented well. Allison, Rachel, and Ivy up front. Jess, Angie, and Amanda in the back row with Gilbert serving. Hopkins it up 6-1. Another great jump serve. Another free ball for Ivy. They don't come any easier than that. Great block from Ivy. Another free ball, great hustle from Westford. Amanda, Angie, outside to Lorette. Another great swing from the senior. And that's out. Great run here for Amanda serving. Hiller's playing well offensively and defensively. 
eight point lead. Uh, sails that one long. Good run of serves though from Amanda. Side out Westford. Paige Kacharian to serve. Westford trailing by seven. And that's wide. Side out Hopkinton. Yeah, you can see her timing was off. She threw that ball up higher than normal, I believe. Just to serve. Sarah Pusco checks in for Ivy. And miss hit from Westford. And calling a timeout here. Coach Ang trying to get the girls calmed down. 11 to two. A little strange to call a timeout this, his second timeout this early. Not gonna leave him. It's a lot of, a lot of points still to be played here in the second set. Students trying to get things pumped up here. So up front we've got Jill, Rachel, and Allison, Angie, Amanda, and Jess in the back row with Jess serving. Jess sends in a knuckleball, and Westford has trouble handling that. Oh, friendly roll. Off the top of the net and over. 13 to two, Hillers in front. Nice block from Sarah Pusco. Great point for the Hillers. Great block from Jill again. Westford goes down the middle, and three in a row. Sarah Pusco on a roll. Jess floats that one in. Amanda gets it to Angie, outside to Lorette, cross court, that's wide. Side out Westford. Emily Doolin serving. Amanda receives that. Angie goes short to Jill. Jill's timing was off, but he was able to make it work. Jenna Wilworth checking in for Angie. Sail back to serve. 17 to three, Hiller's in front. Free ball here. Go, 
Nice serve from Zell. And that's out. Nineteen to three. Zell with another nice deep serve. Free ball. Rachel. Second hit. Jenna tip along. Great swing from Woolworth. Way to take advantage of that second ball. Seventeen point lead for the Hillers here late in the second set. Jill, back, Allison, Zale, back set to Jenna, down the middle, Libero gets to it, but they couldn't pull it off the net. Great point for the Hillers. Another ace for Rachel. Twenty-two to three. Way to mix up the serves, Rachel. There's Jenna. Rachel back to Jenna. Cross court. It was tipped. Hiller's two points away from closing out this second set. They have a twenty point lead. Another ace for Rachel. A little communication issue in the back row from Westford. We're here at set point. Blocked, and that's it. Sarah Pusco with the fourth block of the set. Hopkinton takes that second set 25 to three for a 2-0 lead here in this best of five. Girls are going to switch sides. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back for set number three. Here at the Shrewsbury High School as Hopkinton is taking on Westford in the Central West Finals. Hopkinton took the first set 25 to 15, and they took the second set 25 to three. Out there on the floor for the girls, we've got Front row of Ivy, Amanda, and Angie. Or no, Rachel's in the front. Amanda's in the back with Allison and Jess. Westford to serve. And the third set is underway. or it will be as soon as they finish some paperwork on the side. And now we're underway. Allison handles that. Outside to Amanda. Great block, Ivy. Showing Jill she can do it too. Great block. Start off the third set. Side out Hopkinton, Grabmeyer back to serve. Another deep serve for Grabmeyer. Jess, Angie, outside to Amanda, just tips it over. Westford with good defense in the middle. And nice put away from Westford. Side out to the Gray Ghosts. 1-1. One, one.
Jess receives that well. Short set to Ivy, oh, double hit. Jess, another good receive outside to Amanda Gilbert. Nice powerful hit, went through the block. Westford couldn't control it. Side out Hopkinson. Gilbert back to serve. Allison, Angie, back set to Zale. Down the line, great, great play from the libero. She's able to recover. Short set to Ivy. Once again, the libero. Oh, nice dig from Amanda. Outside to Lorette, arm bar. Amanda goes to Angie. Back to Lorette, cross court. Could be trouble, nope, kept alive. Amanda gets that, Angie. Back set to Zale, cross court. Doolin hits the floor. Great rally here. Jess, Angie, dump over. Perfect play. Oh, no, kept alive with a pancake. And Lorette, oh, another great play. Outside to Zale. Great point. Both teams hustling. Fans appreciate that. Everyone forgot who served. It was such a long rally. Three to two, Hillers in front. Should have a free ball here. Ivy, Angie, back to Ivy. Nice put away from Gogolin. Hillers with a two point lead here early in the third set. Another deep serve from Gilbert. Pushed over, Amanda's there. Angie, outside to Lorette. Blocked at the net. Great block from Canisillo. And she'll go back to serve. Westford trailing by one. Amanda handles that. Angie, back set to Zale. Down the line, nice put away from Zale. Side out Hopkinton. Jill and Ivy exchange positions, just back to serve. Jess, nice deep serve. Back row hit, handled by Amanda, gets it to Angie. Back to Zale, blocked, wide. Nice point for the Hillers. Three-point lead for the Hillers early in the third set. Nice floating serve. Allison was able to pancake that, but I, or Jill couldn't get to it. Side out, Westford. Amanda, short set to Jill. Down, down, down. When the ball bounces on the other side in front of the 10 foot line, you know you hit the ball straight down. Rachel picking up on her serves right where she left off last game. Amanda gets it to Rachel. Back set to Jenna. Westford able to control it. Jess hits the floor outside to Lorette. Just able to tip it over. Lorette, Zale, back set to Wilworth. Oh, great block from Jill. Well, Westford, keep 
Four point lead for the Hillers. And that looked like it was sailing out, but Westford played it. Nine to four, Hillers in front. Sarah Pusco getting it right back. Nice put away from Jill. They're executing the middle hit perfectly tonight. Jess outside to Allison and into the net. Side out, Westford. Mia checking in for Rachel. Elizabeth Arnold back to serve for Westford. Amanda receives that, Mia. Outside set to Wilworth, nice thump. Good power on that from Jenna. Lorette back to serve. Tipped, Mia gets to it. Jenna taking advantage of the second hit, but just sends it long. 11 to six, Hiller's in front. Jess receiving that. Mia, short set to Sarah Pusco. Doolin able to get to that. And that was on the line. Good swing from Westford. Amanda. Mia, back to Amanda. And a good block. <laughs> Westford within three. Amanda to Mia, outside to Jenna. Great, great put away from Wilworth. Bella comes in for Jill, Ivy for Jess. Ansi back to serve. Nice serve from Ansi. Free ball, Allison, Mia, short set to Ivy. Just great placement from Kogelin. Ivy fresh off signing her paperwork to play basketball at UNH. Congratulations to her. Auntie, another good serve. And nice put away from Westford. That was Canisiu. Thirteen to nine, Hopkinton in front. Allison handles that. Mia going outside to Jenna. Blocked with the net once again. Good defensive showing for Westford here in the third set. Allison, Mia, outside to Amanda. Free ball, Jess gets to it, Mia. Back set to Jenna, just tips it. Set was a little behind her. Oh, great play from Jill, or Jenna. Great defensive play from Jenna. Rachel and Angie checking in for Jenna and Mia. Grabmeyer back to serve. Hopkinton in front by four.
Allison. Angie goes outside to Amanda. Nice swing from Gilbert. And defensively, Westford is getting, they're getting blocks set up, but most of the Hopkinton swings are hard enough that they're just careening off the block. Angie goes down the line, little hit. Oh, good play from Jess. Rachel, cross court, kept alive by Doolin. Westford goes back outside. Jess is there again. Angie gets to it. Ivy sends it to the back row. And that's long. Good eyes from Jess. Good body contortion, too. She almost bent over backwards to avoid that one. 16 to 10, Hillers in front. Westford not able to get that pass into the setter. Grebmeyer having an excellent service game tonight. Oh, an ace. And Coach Westford calling a timeout. His second last. So the Hillers in front. So 18 to 10, Hillers in front here in the third set. Hopkinton took the first set 25-15 and the second set 25 to three. So let's see if they can keep this string of service runs going. And the winner of this will play in the state semifinal match against the winner of the North Division, which will either be Methuen or Andover. Coach Grabmeyer is heading to Hanover after this game to scout that match. Grabmeyer to serve. And she floats it to the back row. Down the middle and a miss hit. 19 to 10. Back set, tipped. Allison is there. Angie goes outside to Amanda. Oh! Great hit from Amanda. Sharp angle and well placed. 10 point lead for the Hillers. Back row hit. Jess is there, gets it to Angie. She goes outside to Rachel, cross court. Allison, Angie, outside to Gilbert. And a nice play from Amanda. Took a lot off it. 21-10. Hillers in front. And nice ace for Angie. and gets to that. Angie goes outside to Amanda. Great arm bar from Doolin. Westford keeps it alive. Angie, Rachel, Ivy. A net violation from Andover. <coughs> Hopkinton two points away from closing out this Division I Central Final, Central West Final. Another ace for Grabmeyer. And that's it. We're at match point. 24-10. Hopkinton fans are on their feet. And that's it. Hopkinton is the Central West Division I champions. They're going to move on to play in the state semifinal match.
The date is to be determined, but it'll probably be Wednesday at a neutral site. So for uh, Tom Dings and myself, we'd like to thank you for watching this and please stay with us as we are gonna stay on for the award ceremony. And there's D. King with the Central West Trophy. So a great performance from the Hillers. And they'll move on to the state semifinals. Playing the winner of Methuen versus Andover. The game is in Hanover tonight at 6 o'clock. Yep. So the girls are going to have their picture taken, and we're going to step aside. And we will see you at the next broadcast. Congratulations once again, girls.